Gyrus. Can you hear it? That's Bach doing the Toccata and also the Fugue in D minor. I think this was the first classic game to incorporate classic music and actually sold this game. People love this game because of the music. Frank, come down lower, come over here so the microphone can hear the stereo. You hear the sounds coming out from two different channels. Really clever way of doing it. And what they did is they put the, the sound speakers here so when you're standing here playing it, you can get a really, really good soundtrack. Terrific game. This was an overhaul for a customer. He bought it for $50. Okay. New overlay. Okay, new, uh, these are uh, now remade. Got the uh, black plexiglass all polished. Marquee was in beautiful shape. But what was not in beautiful shape was the side art. It was all just awful. And now it's been completely restored by none other than Steve. Steven did a fantastic job, didn't he? He did do a fantastic job. You know, I think he's ignoring me again. But you know what? The cold never bothered me anyway. Couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. Anyway, let's get back to the game. Look at this side art. Terrific now. Inside, new power supply. We took the logic board out and cleaned it up. The 4900, that terrific chassis that you know I love 4900 Wells Barners. Beautiful picture. And we have this on the Rocky Horse stand. <laughs> the casters will have to be adjusted once the customer gets that. But you know all the Centauri games did that. This is officially a Centauri game but it's a Konami board system. Did you know you can plug in to a gyrus any of the classic Konami games like um, let's see, uh, Scrambler or Scramble uh, uh, Super Cobra, and I can't think of some others. Anyway, all the verticals, same edge connector. Really clever. Track and field would work too, but the picture's the wrong way. Doesn't have the buttons laid out. Anyway, our customer asked us to put this on coin op. <sighs> when you put a credit on it, we don't have that constant advertising. You know, we actually had it, we, we bought these new, we probably bought two or three of them new, and some of the people didn't have a problem with the advertising, but most of them asked us to turn it off. What I hate going into a place, though, to find out, there's two volume pots inside, but they're not next to each other. One's kind of tucked up higher than the other. Hey, take, take a look real quick, Frank. See, there's one pot. The other one's up here. What what these vending clod hoppers would do, these guys that actually put them in storage, they would turn one down. So you'd only have one speaker. So you'd only be hearing half the sound. And you see, in this game, you get distinct separate sounds from both channels. And you really need that. And that's what, that's what people just love this game. Now, in the case of this, people call this a combination of Galaga and, and uh, uh, Tempest. Everybody just loves this game. It's just a terrific piece of equipment. And every, uh, very, very nice, very well done. And, uh, and I think the goal is you have to get to Uranus. Brown 25, another fine product from Uranus. At Uranus, things come out a little differently. Uh, uh, Uranus. Anyway, okay. Uh, anyway. As you can see, Tony is doing the final test on the Devils there. We have sold this game. This is actually going to get wrapped up for Christmas. So we're going to put it in our warehouse after it's done so we can deliver. Christmas is, what, three weeks away? Three weeks away. Tony, is the game playing well? I think he's ignoring me, but you know, uh -oh. well, let me tell you something. 
Frank. The cold never bothered me anyway. Good night. We're in the yellow pages under amusement. Ah, living is good, isn't it, folks? That's all for now. Good night.